from the company that brought you the Kane Mutiny comes another stirring story of high courage at sea. Nerve-shattering suspense, the hide-and-seek, life-and-death search for the enemy below the icebergs. All systems go, all nerves taut, for that head-on showdown they call an incident, the Bedford Incident. Bedford can inflict more damage in 10 minutes than the entire United States Navy caused in World War II. The USS Bedford, Captain Finlander in command, war hero, naval expert, God on the bridge. I'm proud to be an old-fashioned patriot, and I'd destroy any enemy if it meant saving my country. Now, what in the hell is wrong with that? But how far would you go to destroy that enemy? All the way. Munsford, the correspondent who had covered all kinds of stories, but none like this. I'd like to ask you some questions. For your story? No, 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 off the record, for me. For instance, what is going on? The key links in the chain of command that must hold out through the hell they call the Bedford Incident. Ensign Ralston, waiting for the order no man wants to take. Creffel at the sonar, hearing what he couldn't believe. The doctor, who knew the thousand shapes of danger, but had never seen danger like this. What the hell do you think I am, some kind of a joke around here? I've been an officer in the Navy for 20 years. I've saved more men than you have in this ship. Who the hell are you to tell me how to run my business? When you've done as ordered, don't sedate him. I want him back here shot. And the observer, one-time enemy, now alleged a lie. A German commander in the free world's high command. You are in the power here, Eric. It is not a force. It is just you. You mean you're trying to say that uh, you consider me desperate? No, oh, Captain. To be frank, I consider you frightening. Port lookout. Snorkel broad on the port bow. Range about 800 yards. Sound general quarters. All engines ahead, two-thirds. Snorkel bearing 090. Head directly for the snorkel. Speak up this action, or you force them to fight. Fighting men, ready to bleed and die, but who first want to know who hides behind the mask of command. It's not an incident, it's the works.